Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name's Harmon. Today's episode takes place in a city called Sioux City, Iowa. It is on the western border of Iowa, very, very close to Nebraska. This is again another family murder, but this time the mother or father had nothing to do with it. Only 11 days before 9-11 happened, on August 30th, 2001, the bodies of the Aguilar family and businessman Ronald Fish were all found dead in both of their homes. The only connection between the two was a man named Adam Moss. So Adam Moss was the boyfriend of Leticia Aguilar and he had been living with Leticia and her five children uh, pretty recently before he committed the murders. So Leticia Aguilar was 32. Leticia's five kids uh, were Claudia, who was 12, Zacharias, who was 11, Larry, who was nine, Lisa, who was six, and Michael, who was six. Um, all five of the kids and Leticia were all murdered in the house. Like I mentioned, a businessman, Ronald Fish, was also murdered in his house and the Aguilars and Fish all have ties together and I'll explain everything. Uh, so Ronald Fish was 58 years old when he was killed. An article says that he was an acquaintance of Adam Moss um, and it sounds like the motive for him killing Fish was the fact that he basically needed a car. Adam Moss, he met uh, Leticia Aguilar at their work. Adam and Leticia worked at a place called Smurfette Stone Container Company. And uh, so that's where they met each other and of course they started dating. Even though Leticia's five kids were not his, Adam still treated them like his own. Adam apparently had a couple other kids um, with some other women and so in order to help kind of pay off some of those costs, uh, court costs and you know different things like that. He decided to return to his old ways, which was using and selling drugs uh, in order to get that money. Uh, it sounded like he wanted to be able to father his own kid with Leticia. His brother said that his mindset really, really changed and he became super angry and threatened his brother. So one of his brothers actually had to get a restraining order. The day of the murders, um, Adam was supposed to attend a hearing um, regarding the restraining order, but he never showed up. And uh, that evening is when the police found the five children and Leticia and also Ronald Fish, all killed. Adam used a hammer and a knife. Those were his two main weapons, I guess, that he used. I forgot to mention that a babysitter went to the house of the Aguilars as apparently they had a normal babysitter that would come over. And so the babysitter is the one who, who actually found Leticia and the five kids all dead. So this, this little house here, 311 West Street, Sioux City, Iowa. This is the home of Leticia Aguilar and her five children. Um, this is where they were killed. A sad ending to Leticia and her kids. It just seems like there wasn't really much of a motive in a sense. That was the former home of Robert Fish. Uh, again, he was found literally right there in the front uh, entryway of the door. Um, so my guess was um, Adam probably knocked on the door since uh, Robert knew him, probably opened the door for him. And so sadly for, for Ronald Fish, he, he didn't make it. I apologize guys about the loud cicadas in the background. 
the cicadas or crickets or whatever. It's super loud, but uh, so Adam Moss, he worked with Robert Fish at Fish's tire shop before he worked with uh, Leticia at the Stone Place. Robert's house is located at 3815 Sylvian Avenue, um, still in Sioux City, um, just uh, about 10 minutes north of uh, Leticia's house. As far as, again, the motives, um, I still, besides uh, needing a car or stealing a car, um, that's kind of the only motive that I could really find for at least killing Robert. Anyway, thankfully, the police were able to find Adam Moss the next day in a shed and, of course, arrested him for all the murders. Uh, he was found guilty of all the seven murders and was given seven consecutive life sentences in Iowa State Prison, uh, no chance of parole. The crazy thing is that Adam Moss actually committed suicide in prison in 2013, about 12 years after he was convicted of all the killings. If you're new around here and you haven't hit subscribe button yet, please do. I noticed about 90% or 92% of all the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. And that's a huge number. Hit the little bell next to it, that way it'll shoot you a notification once I hit a new video, um, which is usually Monday and Fridays. Um, that's uh, my usual upload day, so five innocent kids and of course, you know, innocent Leticia and, and Robert Fish. All, all for kind of really no reason, just brutally killed. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you all. My name's Harmon, and until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one.